Hi Virgo, welcome to August 2017. Now this is a powerful month. There is two eclipses and Mercury, your ruling planet, goes retrograde on August 12th through September 5th. It starts out at 11 degrees Virgo and then it moves back into Leo igniting the uh, solar eclipse again. And so, you know, this is an important month. Now for you, the action is behind the scenes. It is going on in an area that has to do with uh, meditation, spirituality. There was a lunar, uh, excuse me, a new moon in Leo in July in this area for you. So there's two new moons in this area. So there's a big message for you in regards to your spirituality, your mission, your purpose. And one, the first one was at zero degrees right at the beginning of Leo. And then this next one is at 28, 29 degrees Leo, which is about mastery of the sign, mastering the sign, mastering the energies. So we get the whole gamut here. And for you, it is about behind the scenes because Leo is 12 signs from you and you're getting ready for your birthday and uh, new starts for you. And so, you know, this is a dynamic month. It's an energetic month and you know, it's kind of crazy because you have these eclipses and then you have Mercury retrograde, you know, and so, and there's a lot of retrograde planets here. As you go into August, Uranus is retrograde on the third. So Uranus goes retrograde on the third. And so, you know, you get to watch for impatience or impulsiveness or rash actions with uh, Uranus going retrograde whenever planet uh, stationaries uh, getting ready to retrograde or direct it's very powerful it's a very powerful uh, day uh, when a planet does that and so you know for you it's in that area of uh, the deeper mysteries the uh, deeper parts of self this is a very spiritual time for you a spiritual month because uh, the houses that are being activated are about you know your your spirituality but as well as your subconscious your unconscious the deeper parts the core of your being and and so uh, you know it's pulling you into yourself it's pulling you into who you are and who you are as a spiritual being so it is time to celebrate who you are and celebrate your spirituality in August getting ready for the uh, you know new moon in Virgo after the uh, solar eclipse in uh, Leo. Now Jupiter is going to make his final square to Pluto on the fourth, and that's good news because that energy has just taken some folks over the top with arrogance and bad behavior and violence, and uh, so having those two separate off is. Uh, good news, uh, absolutely. And with Jupiter moving forward in that area of money and wealth building, it's always good. Now, the Aquarius lunar eclipse on August 7th brings the action to work for you and service, health, health habits. So for some of you, you might be completing some sort of work assignment here around this uh, Aquarius lunar eclipse. You may find that um, you're finishing something, completing something, and it's absolutely appropriate. And what's interesting about this lunar eclipse in Aquarius, right? Aquarius is about other people and the groups we belong to, the community, but there's a yacht off of the sun in Leo, a finger of God off of the sun in Leo. And that brings you, you know, to that area of working behind the scenes. You know, you know, it, it's, it's that singular path and um, bringing you to 
your your meditations and dream time and dreamscape and unfinished business working on projects so this is a time for you where you know you you are focused on work and you are focused on your health and well-being and finishing projects and getting things done getting ready for that new solar cycle that's coming for you next month when it's your month and your time so it's interesting how you you know you have these new starts in an area that is about completions you know the eclipses are now in Leo they used to be in Virgo right so now they're in Leo and you know so it's bringing that focus to working behind the scenes finishing the project so for some of you you could be you know working on this long-term project like writing a book you know or uh, building programs you know for some of you you could be engaged in work that is uh, lengthy you know that is you know something you're going to be focused on for months and and you know well into next year uh, into completion or maybe even years into the future it could be about you know going to school for some of you you're in school you're in higher education and you're uh, you know getting your masters or your doctorate and it's going to take years to complete that project it could be that too where you know there's this new start but it's bringing you behind the scenes and so you're doing work that is behind the camera computer programming right editing writing these are things we do um, away from from the public away from the spotlight so these this is a big focus for you because Mars is in this area and you may find that your dreams are very active at this time you're dreaming a lot you're remembering your dreams you're very active in your dreams Mars brings energy to to wherever he is and so you have Mars in this area you have the Sun in this area you have the North Node in this area so there's this huge focus going on in this area now there is a grand fire trine off of um, the solar eclipse with Uranus is exactly trining the Sun and Saturn is trining the Sun so this is great I mean you know this is a time for you to really work with your subconscious to really work with your deeper parts of yourself and get on board with all of you you know is is oftentimes we're way too serious like humans we we don't have enough comedy in our lives we don't have enough joy and laughter we're always serious we're always focused on challenges we're always focused on problems and we we don't focus on just the moment and laughing and being silly and having fun so make sure you include that in your month because Leo is about that it is about laughter and joy and living from the heart and being the child and so for you it's the spiritual child right it's about you being this the cosmic child is, is being that spiritual child recognizing that you know you are you know eternally youth youthful and that you are here to of course live your best life but have fun and have joy and have laughter in whatever you're doing your projects your work whatever you're cooking up and it looks like you're cooking up something big in that area of you know something that you would perhaps launch later right so it looks like for some of you you're really working on something that you're going to bring to public you know later this year or next year or the year after even so um, that that is uh, dynamic and interesting so you have the the lunar eclipse in that area of work and health and health habits and you know full moons bring things to completion so there's something you're finishing up here maybe it's um, an assignment that you've had or uh, another project that you're completing or a job maybe you're moving out of what you've been doing maybe you're coming to a completion in what you're doing and uh, you're excited about that because when we finish something we begin something and maybe you already have something lined up that you're going to move into 
uh, you know, here in August. Now, with Mercury going retrograde on the 12th, I do recommend waiting until um, September 5th to take action because there is a lot of retrograde energy here in August. Very interesting, you know, because you have two new moons in Leo, uh, one in July and then here in um, August, August 21st, and new moons are new starts, new beginnings, but Pluto is retrograde, Neptune is retrograde, Chiron is retrograde, Uranus is retrograde, and now Mercury is retrograde. So retrograde always means you know, to go back to something and finish something, go back over something. There's something from the past that needs to be completed. There's something that needs to be finished up. There can, it can bring people back from the past. Um, and so, you know, for you, Mercury being your ruling planet, you know how affected you are by Mercury retrograde. I know my world goes wonko right? I mean, computers and, and you name it, phones, emails, mail, you know, it, it is definitely time to see the lighter side of life and keep a sense of humor because, <laughs> you know, even though it's like new start, new beginning, it may not be, you know, t the appropriate time to start something new until September, until Mercury goes direct, we're at the Virgo new moon, building towards the Pisces full moon, more will be revealed, you know, much can be revealed, you know, at this time in August, but I think even more will be revealed to you in September when we get to Mercury direct, the Virgo new moon, and the Pisces full moon, which will come um, right after the Leo new moon in August, and then you'll have your new moon in September, and then, of course, the Pisces full moon is in September too, but that full moon's going to come before the Virgo new moon. And so it is, you know, a time where, you know, it's all about you. Uh, I'd say, like, it's a wonderful time to take a vacation. It's a wonderful time to take a staycation. It's a wonderful time to be out in nature and <clears throat> communing with the birds and the animals and, and the nature, spirits, the devas, uh, the elemental life, the, the, the gnomes, and the, the beautiful garden fairies, right? <laughs> They're out there, they are. And, uh, you know, just, just celebrating life, celebrating living, celebrating you and how far you've come, and preparing for the um, the birth of the new you. So what needs to be completed here in August for you? Are you completing a relationship? Are you moving? Are you changing jobs? Is it all of the above? Right? Is this is a time to really know that the universe is moving you up. And you know, every time you move, you raise your vibration. I know it's a pain in the butt to move, believe me. Especially when it's it's long, you know I moved two thousand miles, uh, uh, you know last year, and you know it was it was really requiring and and you know so I understand that. But every time we move, we raise our vibration, and it gives you a fresh start and it gives you new energy, and that's always a good thing. That's always a great thing because it is why we're here is to raise our vibration, hold more light, and we can do that through laughter and joy. And celebration and so you know for many of you you're going to be finding that you know you're, you're completing things here and it is in the area of work for many of you but it can be in the area of relationships and where you're living and it's very important that you don't allow other people to manipulate you especially at that Aquarius lunar eclipse because Neptune is is activating the uh, the yod with Pluto, the finger god, Neptune and Pluto, and they are in that area of romance and relationship for you. So make sure you, whatever you're doing, Virgo, you, your heart's in it. Like it's right for you. Don't do it to please others. Don't let others guilt you or manipulate you or get you to, 
play on their team and do it their way or change you because they want you to be this way, right? I want you to be like this. Don't be who you really are. Be the way I want you to be. No, that's not going to work. And that goes against your spirituality. That is, you know, not what the universe is downloading here. The universe wants you to be all of you, totally you. And, you know, don't make adjustments for others to please them. Make adjustments to please you. What's going to make you happy? What's going to make your boat float? <laughs> your boat float. What's going to make your boat float? And, you know, that's where the action is. That's where the energy is. It's, it's incredibly spiritual. I mean, for some of you, you're, you're going to want to, like, retreat. Like, you, you are, maybe some of you are going to plan to go to one of those yoga retreats or, you know, some sanctuary. You're going to love it. You're going to be like, oh, I'm so home. I'm so happy. Oh, I feel so good in this, this uh, energy and this location and this place. It feels great. Do that. I mean, you can do that right at home, too, but you can do it, you know, being out in nature, being in a sacred space. Find your sacred spaces. Find your sacred places. That's what the Leo is calling for you to do, is to find that sacred energy. Find your best place and anchor yourself there and know that you are right where you're supposed to be. Everything happens right when it's supposed to. You're in the flow. You're listening because that's the key for all of us is to be silent, to find that quiet so that we're listening and we're hearing from the mighty I am presence, the higher self, the soul self about what we're supposed to be doing. What is a priority? What do we need to get done? That's really important. And you're going to be shown this month, you know, what's right for you and how to best take care of you. About taking action, you know, I suggest, if you can wait till September, it's better. If not, do what you, you know, you're going to live, right? I've done plenty of things with Mercury retrograde that, you know, I didn't have a choice at the time, right? That you you got to do what you got to do, and um, and it's fine. You know, as 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 long as you're you know you're reading the fine print, you're looking at what you're doing, then you'll be fine. And who knows better than you about Mercury retrograde, right? <laughs> is is you you know how to navigate it? You know how to um, use these energies in you know the best way the most appropriate way uh, for you. Now the Leo New Moon Total Eclipse has that gorgeous grand fire trine. It has Saturn trine in it. It has Uranus trine in it. And so, you know, it, for some of you it is a good time to move uh, once Mercury <laughs> moves direct. But if you can't wait, do it. It's a good time to invest in uh, property. It's a good time to make long-term investments. And invest in yourself. You know, is, is take that time to make sure you're investing in yourself. I see this as like August is a time where you're, you're preparing to launch. It's like you're, your plane is on the runway and you're waiting for the tower to say, okay, Virgo, take off, right? is take off for you is September 5th on, right? Because that's when your early planet goes direct and you're in your month and it's new starts. And then of course after that, even in the, in the time of Libra is, is a time of new starts for you. Um, but I see August as a time where you're, you're on the, the, the landing, you know, you're, li you're lined up with the other planes and you're waiting for the tower to say, okay, it's your turn Virgo, right? This month, it's, it's not about uh, launching anything new. If you can wait, I do recommend you waiting because uh, the energy just isn't there. And it is about you rethinking things. Of course, Mercury is in your sign until the 31st where he re-enters Leo and he ignites the solar eclipse again. This is why this the eclipse is, the energy keeps going. Yeah, it's the most intense on the day of and a few days before and a few days after. But it keeps getting reactivated every time a faster moving planet comes along and says, boom, 28 degrees Leo again. Boom, 15 degrees Aquarius again. And 
the energy, you know, that area of your life is activated again. And for you, it's about life work balance, spiritual life, work life, spiritual health, well being, vitality, service to the planet. But it comes, the universe is pointing to that Leo sun first, and it's saying, you first, though. You can take care of others afterwards, but you got to take care of you first. You got to feed your soul first. You got to feed your body first. You got to make sure that you have what you need before you're available to others. Before you're going to go work with others, play with others, and so on, take care of others. The universe is saying, take care of you first and make sure you are taking time for your spiritual life because that's where you're being called this month. You're being called to your spirituality. You're being called to um, finish unfinished business. As well as, you know, it's an opportunity to look at how you get in your own way. You know, maybe you get too serious at times and you're not having enough fun. You know, maybe, you know, maybe you watch too much news. Don't, you know, <laughs> you watch too much of that stuff. Ha! Ah! That'll make you crazy, right? Is, is you know, I, what I like to do is I like to watch comedy you know, like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, just to laugh, right? If it's funny and it makes me laugh, I can feel like my whole body just like, oh, you know, it just feels better. And then everything goes better. My work goes better. My work with others goes better. My work with my clients goes better. It just, life is better when I have a good sense of humor uh, throughout my day. I can see the lighter side and you know, and not take myself so serious. I take my work really serious, but I don't take myself so serious. And so maybe that's it too. It's like, how are you getting in your own way? How are you holding yourself back? Right? And for some of you, maybe you're even, I don't know, sabotaging your success or what you want because you're giving too much away to others. You're too focused on others. You're too trying to save others, please others, fix others help others and you're you know charity begins at home is what are you doing for you and so you know these eclipses are the cosmic downloads they're bringing you new insights new answers and you want to be available to receive it and hear it and integrate it so that you are getting what you want you are moving in the right direction and uh, having that abundance, love, joy, laughter, and so on, that's rightfully yours. Then the sun enters Virgo on the 22nd. Happy birthday, Virgo. And this really is a good thing because we need to start grounding all of this fire energy. You know, Jupiter is expanding everything. Um, so having the planets move into Virgo, it's like we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Um, because I think it's going to be really interesting this summer. Uh, you know, the solar eclipse in Leo is conjunct the um, God star Regulus. And, you know, Leo rules uh, lead leaders. And so, you know, we could see some interesting people leave their jobs, you know, as leaders, you know, because uh, eclipses eclipse things, right? So we could see that some leaders are out, some leaders are in. But it should be a... a, a, a a monumental month. It should be uh, a month to remember. August is a month to remember uh, as far as the world climate goes and, and the uh, entertainment of some of these characters and uh, you know and the and and how how uh, for some of them they they may be done and finished and that's good because we need leaders that have integrity and honor and are connected spiritually to their higher self and aren't just coming from their ego um and you know that's the the dark side of leo is that you know arrogance and and bully and you know napoleon complex whatever you want to call it um, and that's not what Leo is supposed to be at all. And that's why we have two, you know, we have the first, the new moon at, at zero degrees where the downloads come in and we're, we're learning how to be good Leos. And then by the time we get to 28, 29 degrees, it's supposed to be, okay, now we've got the energy mastered, which is all about love. And 
you know, love, when you love you, then you're available to love humanity. It's about, you know, learning to come from the heart and be funny and, and uh, entertaining and, and creative and passionate and uh, brave and courageous as well as lifting others up, right? And, and seeing the bigger picture so that we're lifting others up and taking them with us. And, you know, that's the best part of Leo is, is uh, recognizing that the sun shines on everyone and therefore um, where we want to shine our light and love on everyone and and, and not just who we love, but to have a love for humanity, to have a love for others, to have a compassion for others. And um, so we're, it'll be an interesting month. You'll be watching it, you know, like you'll be on the sidelines just going, look at that turkey, you know, like, oh my goodness, did he step in it? Um, which is fine because you've already been through the eclipses, you've already been through the North Node in Virgo. Now it's time for you to, you know, go behind the scenes and uh, work on you, your projects, and things that make you happy and uh, joyful. And then with the sun moving into Virgo on the 22nd, Saturn moves direct on the 25th. This is good news because Saturn's now moving forward. And, you know, he has been really working you, you know, these past, you know, two and a half years with your foundation and strengthening you and releasing old family patterns that no longer serve you and releasing uh, relationships that no longer serve you, building a new foundation and the stronger the foundation, the more you can achieve in the world. And then he's moving forward and then he's moving into Capricorn, which trines the Virgo, harmonious energy flow. And so you're going to love 2018 and the end of this year because Saturn is moving into an area that is um, now in positive energy flow with any planets you have in Virgo and that is going to be like wow uh, how nice for things to get easy for me said the Virgo and it's true and so it's good and so with Saturn moving direct that is good news uh, for you and all of us Venus re-enters Leo, I mean, enters Leo on August 26th, and Mercury re-enters Leo on the 31st. So you see, it's still behind the scenes with you. Yes, the sun has moved into Virgo, which, you know, is very good. It gives you energy uh, and brings the focus to you. However, with, we want to wait till your ruler, Mercury, goes direct September 5th, and then moves back into Virgo um, in, in September and you know now we have the forward movement energy and then we'll have more planets in Virgo, Mars will move in there, Venus will move in there later <clears throat> and so on and so then you'll feel this energy to start something new, begin something new, take on something new. This month is a deeply spiritual month for you and there's going to be tremendous insights given to you from Creator uh, important instructions from your higher self and that's why you want to be taking the time to receive that information at uh, insight and understanding that you need for your life path for your work for your relationships for you and so on so for those of you open for love um, I'm not seeing a big focus there you know it's more about you and what you're working on um, doesn't mean you know it can't happen Love can happen anywhere, anytime. Um, you know, is it could be someone from your past coming back with all the retrograde and with Mercury retrograde. Maybe there's someone that you haven't finished with that's coming back. And um, that's always a good thing, too, is to finish things up and complete things so that you are creating the space for the love uh, to come into your life, for that love and joy and uh, connection that you're ready for. Now your money looks good. Jupiter is in that area of uh, uh, abundance and he's direct and so you know he's working for you so money looks good. There's, there isn't anything blocking the money and Venus has been in that area of the money you make from the business you own 
all month until she moved into Leo on the 26th. So when, you know, Venus was in Cancer for most of the month until the 26th. So this is a strong money month for you too. So money is great. And that's another reason why you're focused on you, you're focused on your work, you're focused on, you know, taking care of business. You're not interested in all the brouhaha going on out there. If you want to make any moves in your career, you know, I, I, I like I said, I, I recommend if you can wait till uh, September 5th on, that would be the best time to move into something new. Um, I'm not seeing any challenges to your career. In fact, things look rather calm for you in so many ways, and it's lovely. It's like a time to rest and recharge your batteries and energize yourself and connect to source, connect to spirit, connect to nature and let it feed you and fill your soul and inspire you. It's beautiful. And your health, you know, is, is there could be something that comes up around that lunar eclipse. Doesn't have to be major. It, you know, the Jupiter is trying in it. So it is, you know, maybe something's brought to your attention that you need to uh, take care of, right? Is, uh, or maybe you, you've decided to, you know, change something right like you know diet or exercise and so on or even work habits you might find that you are changing the hours you work or the days you work or, or you know that way uh, that makes life better for you do what makes life better for you so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring sharing and Google Plus in my videos Virgo you're totally awesome Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It does help the channel. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below. It's also up in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. It's in the show more section. It's in the cards. <laughs> it's very easy. You go to my astrology page. You purchase your consultation upon checkout. You get the link to my schedule. And we're working together. Or if you're interested in coaching, you want to focus on a new business idea, new job, new you know whatever you want uh, you, you go to my coaching page you purchase your session upon checkout you get the link to my schedule and we're coaching you so until next time Virgo prepare to launch I wanted to sing for you one of my favorite childhood songs it's a frog went to Corton and it is a love story a frog went to court and he did ride a hmm, a hmm. A frog went to court and he did ride sword and pistol by his side a hmm, a hmm. He rode up to Miss Muzzy's door a hmm, a hmm. He rode up to Miss Muzzy's door where he'd often been before a hmm, a hmm. He said, Miss Muzzy, are you within a hmm, a hmm? He said, Miss Muzzy, are you within? Yes, kind sir, I sit and spin a hmm, a hmm. He took Miss Muzzy upon his knee a hmm, a hmm. He took Miss Muzzy upon his knee, said, Miss Muzzy, will you marry me a hmm, a hmm? Without my uncle's rat consent, a uh, hmm, a uh, hmm. Without my uncle's rat consent, I wouldn't marry the president, a uh, hmm, a uh, hmm. Uncle Rat, he laughed and shook his fat sides, mm hmm, a uh, hmm. Uncle Rat, he laughed and shook his fat sides to think his niece would be a bride, a uh, hmm. Uh -hmm. Then Uncle Rat rode off to town. A uh hmm, a uh hmm. Uncle Rat rode off to town to buy his niece a wedding gown. A uh hmm, a uh hmm. Oh, where will the wedding supper be? A uh hmm, a uh hmm. Oh, where will the wedding supper be? Way down yonder by the hollow tree. A uh hmm, a uh hmm. The first to come was a little white moth, a uh hmm, a uh hmm. 
The first to come was a little white moth to spread out the tablecloth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was a bumblebee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was a bumblebee played the fiddle upon his knee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was a tiny flea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was a little flea Dance the jig with a bumblebee uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was Mrs. Cow uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next to come was Mrs. Cow Tried to dance but didn't know how uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now Mr. Frog was dressed in green uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now Mr. Frog was dressed in green, sweet Miss Mouth looked like a queen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They all gathered round the lucky pair. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They all gathered round the lucky pair, singing, dancing everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then Frog and Mouse went off to France. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then Frog and Mouse went off to France. That's the end of my romance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.